hey guys welcome back to the channel and today in this video we are going to create this water tower in maya so let's start with the modeling and first we are going to create this base and for the base i'm going to use a cube so let's create these four pillars first I'm going to increase the height I'm taking 35 and go to top view I'm going to place this here like this And now I'm going to duplicate it, place this one here. Now select these two, duplicate again and place these two here. Like this. Now I'm going to take another cube or we can uh, use these ones. So let's select it and duplicate then rotate it. Go to front view and uh, scale it like this or what you can do is you can go to vertex mode select these vertices then press V to snap it to the point and place them here like this and these ones here like this Select it and uh, modify then center pivot. Scale it in the Z axis just a little bit. Like this. Go to top view. And press D and X. Change the pivot to the center of this grid. Create a duplicate of this support and rotate it like this place this one here like this and uh, go to vertex mode select the vertices and place them here like this repeat the same thing with these vertices place them here like this Go to top view and select this one. Duplicate and place this one here. And this one to the other side. And we are done with the middle support. Now let's select these four. And... Uh, Go to modify, center pivot, duplicate and place them up here to create these top support. Like this. And uh, now let's create these uh, side supports so for that I'm going to take another cube and place it here go to front view and I'm going to place this one here like this go to vertex mode select these vertices and uh, extend them till here like this And I'm going to scale it just a little bit and place it here like this. Like 
create a duplicate and place it here. We can repeat the same thing. So create a duplicate, pull them up here. Go to front view and make sure they are aligned. So pull them up. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices and also pull these up like this. So the support for the front is done. Let's create some for the sides. So go to right view and uh, take a cube. Pull this up and place it here. Like this. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices and place them up here. Like this. And these ones here now scale it and place this one here and create a duplicate place on the other side select both of them and duplicate again and pull them down Go to right view and uh, align them so place these here and go to vertex mode select these vertices and pull them down like this and we are done with the supports now let's create these iron things so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cube and pull this up, go to front view, place it up here, then scale it like this and a little bit scale like this, take insert edge loop to add one edge here and one here. I'm going to go in the face mode, so I'm going to select these faces and extrude like this. And now we can scale this like this. Go to front view and uh, place it here. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices, pull them here like this, just a little bit. Go to edge mode and I'm going to select all these edges and then these ones. and bevel decrease the fraction add one segment like this and i'm going to go in the front view and place this here Create a duplicate, place the other one here and uh, create some more duplicates like this. Select all of them and just move them a little to the left. And we are done with this one. So let's model this tank and for that I'm going to take a cylinder. Pull this up and increase the radius. Let's take 5. Go to front view and increase the height. Like this, maybe a little more radius. 
let's take 7 and height to 15 and also some subdivisions I'm going to take 30 and uh, let's take insert edge loop 2 add one edge here and one here now select these two edges and bevel decrease the fraction like this go to face mode and select these faces and uh, duplicate now let's uh, isolate this one and i'm going to remove these edges bring back our model now select these two strips and uh, extrude add some thickness like this and let's select this edge ring go to mesh display and soften edge repeat the same thing here go to this edge ring and the mesh display then soften edge we can also select these two edges and uh, bevel with one segment and uh, repeat the same thing with this one And for the top, I'm going to take a cone. Now pull this up and uh, increase the radius. Let's take 8 and a little height like this. Pull this down. Maybe a little more radius. Let's take 8.5 and... Uh, height I'm going to take 8 or 7 8 should be fine and increase some subdivision axis to 26 isolate it Select this face and delete it. Now select all these edges and press Ctrl E, then scale like this. Press Shift right click and merge these edges to center. Now bring back your model. And uh, what we can do is we can take multi cut tool and just add some edges like this. So we are pretty much done with this model. We just have to model this ladder and this pipe. And uh, for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cube bring it out here for a top view and place this cube like this decrease the width and depth to 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 place it here like this go to front view and uh, pull this up go to vertex mode select these vertices in the bottom and pull them down till here maybe scale it a little bit in the x-axis go to front view and place this here Create a duplicate and place other one here.
Now to create steps between these two cubes, take another cube and uh, place it here like this and uh, scale it like this. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices, place them here and uh, Since these side faces are not going to be visible, I'm going to select them and then delete and uh, scale it like this. Pull this down and uh, bring it out. Again, scale in these Z axis. Go to front view and press ctrl d create a duplicate and place it up here then press ctrl d again to create more duplicates like this so our ladder is done now we just need to create this pipe and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a cylinder Go to top view and uh, place this cylinder here. Decrease the radius. And uh, go to front view. Place this down. like this go to vertex mode select the vertices and pull them up now take another cylinder pull this up change the radius to 0 0.35 and go to top view and place this here Select this one, go to vertex mode and pull these vertices down a little like this. Now select this one, create a duplicate, pull this up and rotate it like this and place this one here. Now select these three and uh, let's combine. Go to face mode, select these faces, move them to the left a little. And now let's select these faces and uh, bridge them with these ones so bridge faces curve type to blend and increase the subdivisions like this and repeat the same thing with these ones bridge curve type to blend and increase the subdivisions now select these edges and uh, go to mesh display then soften edge. So our water tank model is finished. So in the next video we are going to unwrap this model and then texture it in substance painter. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then drop a like on this video and do let me know in the comments if you have any critique. I also started a 3D modeling course for beginners which is uh, exclusively for members so if you want to join that course and get access to all those lessons then consider joining the channel and taking the membership i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching